<clears throat> hey guys, and welcome to Jurassic Room. And real quick, I'm going to do a quick video of uh, feeding my flathead catfish. Really quick. The other guys, they've been fed. The puffers are eating right now. Their blood worms are enjoying that. Flying gecko, he's jumping all around the tank. You can see him back there snapping up crickets. But, hold on one second. So you can see, uh, you see Spud's new habitat, and he's enjoying crickets. So I might go ahead and feed him a cricket for y'all real quick. Yeah, we'll feed him a nice. Yeah, he's got one. But he is enjoying his uh, new habitat. Let's see if we'll see Toothless up here because I know we get to see him pretty good when the uh, light is on. I might check on him in a minute. I think I see him back there. But anyway, let's check on this guy and see how he's doing. You see him in there. So hold on, I'm going to throw in. The piece of chicken I just chewed up right here. Yeah, it's Caesar right there. I just got him some mealworms and juvenile bearded dragon food and all that good stuff. All right, I'm gonna drop this in. Hopefully. Oh, there we go. Perfect area. Stuck right there. So let's see. Does he? He has a hole back there that he eats out of. But I usually throw it to the front. I'm trying to back off a little bit. Right, now you see him. There we go. You can see him burying everything, trying to get to the chicken. Let's see if I can get really close up in there. There's my bluegill. He doesn't like the light though, I think. But you can still see him eating. We'll leave him to his devices for a minute. And you can see Oracle in there. I think I'll grab a cricket really quick. Let's see how Toothless is doing. Where is he? He's probably in the back. Hold on a second. Oh, I see he's right there, so let me move this tank lid further back. Move this thing up here real quick, darn it. Move the lid up here. Here we go. Let's 
trying to see if I can, you know. There we go. They sort of seem pretty good. There we go, there's two plus. Maybe I'll beam another one really quick. Let me grab another one. Come on, come on, come on. Alright. Let's see if we can feed him another one from right here. Alright. There we go. I will leave him to his devices for a second. I want to show y'all something really quick. Let me put the tank lid back on. I want to show y'all these. Now, I went to went fishing in Panama City a few weeks ago, and I brought these back. These are skulls of the trout that we caught. Now, look at these teeth on these suckers. I'm going to glue them together and maybe sell a few or keep them in my uh, collection. Look at the teeth on these things. This is the top jaw. And I'm actually going to give one of these to my granddad. This was the biggest one, which was my the one that my Uncle Tom caught. I took all the meat out and I dried them and all that, so they're completely clean. They don't stink. I'm going to use some epoxy on them to make them a little shinier, shinier and uh, keep them nice and clean. That one's for my uncle because he uh, caught that one, my granddad's brother. And I think I'm going to give my granddad this one once I get it cleaned off really good. I'm going to put it on a little wood plaque. I'm going to shave some wood off and all that and do that. I'm going to give him this one. I mean, look at this thing. They're really fun to catch, too. If you, you, and y'all saw the video. So you, if you want to, just go back and take a look. Uh, we got Oracle right here. I'm about to throw in some crickets for her. We got Pokey. She likes to eat crickets. We got Crone up here, which, you no, know, he's hungry. He's ready to eat some. And I made nachos for dinner tonight. That was pretty good. And of course, so you got the turtles. They got a few goldfish left in there. I'm going to give them some more that I got this week. And you might be able to see the flying gecko somewhere in there. I don't see him right. Oh, there he is. He jumped right out. I guess he saw the light. Oh, dang. Does he see a cricket? He might. That'd be cool if he saw a cricket. Might have to throw a few more in there for him. And then you got my the puffers. I think I figured out a name for them. And if y'all come up with any better names, or if y'all think these names are good, think about calling them Winston, uh, Peter, Ray, and Egon. And uh, put in the comments section if you know where those names come from. Because I really want to know that some people know the names. You can see some of them, and they're the green spotted up there. We got, oh wait. There's a green spotted. There's the figure eight. And then here's my little green spotted down there and my other uh, figure eight. Now that guy up there, he's special. He's the biggest one in the tank. And he's got like a break, as you can see in a second here, in the uh, figure eight on its forehead. It's got, uh, it ends in the middle. Let's see, I'll try and show y'all. If he comes over here, let me see if I can get his attention. You see it right there, the little break in the line? So he's kind of special. I want to give him a special name. If y'all got any other ideas for names for these guys, I'm happy to hear them. So, anyway, guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Let's see how the catfish ate all those. Hey, big guy. 
So remember, like, and subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna do a video on my uh, rock collection, which I've got out. These I inherited from my uncle. So I am going to do a video on that probably tomorrow because I'm kind of tired right now. It's 12:25. And I will do some reactions tomorrow too, since tomorrow's Saturday. Try and get some stuff done. Maybe do a story time and play a little bit of Arkham City for y'all. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more videos.